What's up good people? How's it going? Rob here aka The Old City Vapor. Today I'm going to be talking about this juice right here. It is called Puppy Drool and it's from PitbullVape.com. Uh, I actually got this bottle of juice and won it on a uh, Vapors Nation Network show on the internet. I believe it was a Joe P's show. Uh, I'll put the links down below so you can check it out, Vapors Nation, and uh, definitely cool. Uh, Pitbull Vape is a Vapors Nation sponsors, you know, several of the Vapors Nation shows. I was in there one night in the chat, video chat, talking, hanging out, and uh, my name pops up in the randomizer. I won a 30 mil bottle of Pitbull Vape Juice. I was like, cool, I'll take it. I'll uh, definitely check it out. Never tried anything from Pitbull Vape before. Um, I'd heard about Puppy Drool, but uh, that was about it, so I had no idea what to expect. I heard it was good. Several people were recommending it. And uh, so I went to the website, checked it out, pitbullvape.com. Pretty cool website, you know, it's kind of centered around, uh, themed around pit bulls, obviously. Uh, Bill's the owner, actually uh, into uh, the dogs and a little bit of the sales, speaking of dogs. A uh, little bit of the sales from the juice goes to help take care of, you know, the four-legged friends. And uh, so, ordered puppy drool. Not too long after that, shows up in the mail. And uh, I believe my uh, first day of vaping it was two weeks ago when I did the uh, one of my Weird Wednesday videos. Just got it in the mail just a, a few minutes before I uh, filmed that video, actually. And uh, it was kind of like, hmm. This stuff's pretty tasty. Speaking of that, let's take a vape. You can tell definitely plenty of vapor. Um, and look at the level of juice in that bottle. It's a 30 ml bottle and it's getting close to the bottom. So, the old motto of empty bottles do not lie. Uh, you can obviously tell that I like this uh, juice. I uh, was rather uh, happy, pleasantly surprised when I got it and vaped it for the first time. I was like, wow, this stuff's pretty tasty. Um, it's a berry, kiwi berry flavor. Uh, it is green, uh, pretty thick juice, heavy VG, if not all VG. Um, this is a six milligram nick level. Uh, you can get it with the little bit of coloring that's in it or you can get it without coloring if you know coloring kind of freaks you out you can get it without the coloring as well he'll do it either way for you not a big deal um i kind of like the coloring i mean put it in a tank i know exactly what's in there pretty much you know like i say it's a kiwi uh berry mix i kind of get I think it's like a kiwi strawberry is kind of what I'm getting. Not 100% sure on the strawberry part, uh, but definitely a little more on the kiwi side uh, than the berry side, but it's a good mix either way. Smelling it. Smells pretty darn good. Um, definitely get that kind of kiwi smell, and uh, I think it's, I don't know, I think I'm getting strawberry is the berry part of the mix. Could be totally wrong. I don't know. That's just what I'm tasting and smelling. Definitely a good mix, though, without a doubt. Um, so, would I order it again? I already have. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely uh, order it again. Like I say, I already have. I spoke to Bill, actually, last night on the phone. And um, <clears throat> seems like a really cool dude. We talked a bit. Uh, I ordered some other flavors from from him as well. Uh, I got Bobo, Melon Moonshine, Murdered Melon, and Redneck, and a few others. I can't remember what the others are were are at the moment because I'm scatterbrained. Uh, this is a 30 ml bottle. It's 14.50. He also has this on the website in a 240 ml bottle, which is 69 bucks. A lot of the other flavors are, um, you can get them in a 5 mil, 10, 15, 30, or the 240 size bottles. 
uh, pretty decent prices and like I say some of the sales you know from the juice kind of go out to help the dogs as well so that is a plus in my book also uh, I give it two thumbs up my wife also gives it the double thumbs up so that's four thumbs in uh, one video for one flavor so there you go and like I say empty bottles don't lie not quite empty but well on its way we've kind of been conserving it a little bit until the new bottle shows up which should be this week. So there you have it, plenty of vapor. Uh, six milligram nick level, the throat hit is good. Uh, for a six, it's a smooth, really smooth vape. Uh, nice throat hit, great flavor, ton of vapor. What more can you ask for, right? Uh, and some of the proceeds go to help out the dogs, which is awesome. So there you have it. Pitbull Vape. Puppy Drool. I was a little apprehensive on ordering Puppy Drool. I was like, do I really want to be vaping Puppy Drool? But then I tried it and I was like, damn, the Puppy Drool is pretty awesome. <laughs> so uh, that's good. Good juice, good taste, uh, good stuff. I got it in a mini Pro Tank 2. Uh, I'm using the, the coils that I built for these are 1.1 .1 ohm and they are made with 32 gauge twisted canthal. Two strands of 32 gauge twisted wrapped around a 3 millimeter cotton wick. Uh, excuse me, not cotton, silica wick. And uh, got it on a Proveri Mini set at 3.3 volts. and vapes like a beast especially with this juice in there so uh yeah double thumbs up definitely check it out i'll put the links to the vapors nation shows in here check those out you could also win this juice or others as well uh cool for me because like i said never tried it uh i won a free bottle and i just placed an order with pitbull vape for i don't know another 50 60 bucks worth of juice and uh, definitely surprised, definitely moved into the everyday vape rotation here in the household. Me and my wife have also uh, been vaping this every day and we're both getting sketchy because we're getting really low in the bottle. So uh, there you have it. Uh, thanks to Pitbull Vape for being a, a Vapors Nation sponsor as well. Uh, put the links below, check it out. Um, you guys have a great one. Thanks for watching. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave some comments. I will get back with you as soon as possible. My internet's been down for almost a week, so I'm struggling to get videos uploaded and all that. But uh, thanks to the good folks at Comcast, which aren't really good folks in my opinion, because they told me last week, oh, we'll be out next week sometime to check your problem out. It seems to be a problem with the wiring on the outside of your house. So uh, appreciate them, you know, leaving me hanging. For Super Bowl weekend and all that, uh, what are you going to do? I know what I'd like to do, but it ain't legal. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye-bye.